Understanding Synthetic Dyes, How They're Made Understanding Synthetic Dyes, How They're Made Synthetic dyes play an integral role in the modern world, adding vibrant color to our clothes, furniture, and even the food we consume. From the deepest blues to the richest reds, these dyes have tray. This form the way we perceive and interact with our surroundings. But have you ever stopped to wonder how these dyes are made? In this article, we will delve into the fascinating process of creating S. Synthetic dyes Before we explore the manufacturing process, it's important to understand the basic nature of synthetic dyes. These dyes are chemical compounds, often derived from petroleum, that are capable of IMPA. Ridding color to various materials. Unlike natural dyes, which are derived from plant or animal sources, synthetic dyes are created through a series of complex chemical reactions. The first step in the manufacturing process involves the selection of suitable raw materials. These raw materials typically include aromatic hydrocarbons, such as benzene or toluene, which serve as tea. He starting point for dye production. Other essential chemicals, such as sulfuric acid and nitric acid, are also necessary to facilitate the reaction. Once the raw materials are gathered, the next step is to synthesize the intermediate chemicals required for dye production. This is achieved through a process known as chemical synthesis. In this pro, says, various reactions are employed to transform the raw materials into diverse chemical intermediates. These intermediates serve as building blocks for the final dyes. One common method of chemical synthesis used in dye production is called diazotization. Diazo dyes are an important category of synthetic dyes, and this process is pivotal in their creation. Diazotis Asian involves the conversion of an amine compound into a diazonium salt by reacting it with nitrous acid. These diazonium salts serve as a crucial intermediate in producing a wide range of colors. After the intermediates have been synthesized, the next step is to create the final dye molecules. This is accomplished through a process called coupling. Coupling reactions involve the combination O. At the diazonium salt with another compound, known as a coupler. The coupler determines the final color of the dye by providing additional chemical components. There are various types of coupling reactions employed in dye manufacturing, including azocoupling, anthraquinone coupling, and phthalocyanine coupling. Each coupling reaction yields different color. SN properties, allowing for an extensive range of dyes to be created. These dyes can then be applied to different materials, such as fabrics, plastics, and paper. Once the dyes have been synthesized, they must undergo rigorous quality control measures to ensure their stability and safety. This includes testing the dyes for color fastness, resistance to fading, and adherence to regulatory standards. Only dyes that pass these stringent tests are deemed suitable for commercial use. The production of synthetic dyes is not without its challenges. One significant concern is the environmental impact associated with the manufacturing process. The use of toxic chemicals and the gen air. Ation of waste products, if not managed properly, can have adverse effects on ecosystems and human health. Therefore, strict regulations and sustainable practices are essential in minimizing these po. Potential harms. Efforts are continually being made to develop more eco-friendly dyes and improve the overall sustainability of the dye industry. Some manufacturers have started exploring natural and plant-based alta. Natives, while others focus on creating dyes that require less water, energy, and toxic chemicals during production. These advancements aim to lessen the environmental footprint and help mitigate TH. E risks associated with synthetic dye manufacturing. The development of synthetic dyes has greatly impacted our modern world by adding vibrant colors to various aspects of our lives, such as clothing, furniture, and even food. The creation of these dye 
S involves a fascinating process that utilizes complex chemical reactions. Before delving into the manufacturing process, it is important to grasp the fundamental nature of synthetic dyes. These dyes are chemical compounds derived from petroleum, capable of providing color to different materials. Unlike natural dyes, which originate from plant or animal sources, synthetic dyes are formed through intricate chemical reactions. The initial stage in manufacturing synthetic dyes entails the selection of appropriate raw materials. Aromatic hydrocarbons like benzene or toluene, which function as the basis for dye production, are E typically utilized as raw materials. Additionally, essential chemicals like sulfuric acid and nitric acid are necessary to facilitate the reaction. After acquiring the raw materials, the next step involves synthesizing the intermediate chemicals essential for dye production. Chemical synthesis is employed to accomplish this, utilizing various re actions to convert the raw materials into diverse chemical intermediates. These intermediates serve as the building blocks for the final dyes. Diazotization is a widely used chemical synthesis method in dye production, particularly for diazo dyes. This process is crucial in creating diazonium salts, which are intermediates involved in produce. King a wide range of colors. Diazotization converts an amine compound into a diazonium salt by reacting it with nitrous acid. Following the synthesis of intermediates, the subsequent step is to generate the final dye molecules via coupling reactions. Coupling reactions involve the combination of the diazonium salt with Anop. Her compound known as a coupler. The choice of coupler determines the ultimate color of the dye by providing additional chemical components. Dye manufacturing employs various coupling reactions such as azocoupling, anthraquinone coupling, and phthalocyanine coupling. These reactions yield different colors and properties, enabling the CRE. Ation of an extensive range of dyes applicable to fabrics, plastics, and paper. Once the dyes are synthesized, they must undergo a stringent quality control process to ensure their stability and safety. This involves testing for color fastness, resistance to fading, and adherence to regulatory standards. Only dyes that pass these rigorous tests are deemed suitable for commercial use. Despite their benefits, the production of synthetic dyes poses challenges, particularly concerning the environment. If not managed properly, the use of toxic chemicals and the generation of waste pro. Ducks can have detrimental effects on ecosystems and human health. As a result, strict regulations and sustainable practices are crucial to minimize these potential impacts. Continuous efforts are being made to develop more environmentally friendly dyes and improve the overall sustainability of the dye industry. These advancements aim to decrease the environmental footprint. Ain't and mitigate the risks associated with synthetic dye manufacturing. Understanding Synthetic Dyes, How They're Made Synthetic dyes have become an integral part of our modern world, adding vibrant color to our clothing, furniture, and even the food we consume. These dyes have transformed the way we perceive and int. Interact with our surroundings, but have you ever wondered how they are made? In this article, we will delve into the fascinating process of creating synthetic dyes. Before we explore the manufacturing process, it is important to understand the basic nature of synthetic dyes. These dyes are chemical compounds, often derived from petroleum, that have the ability to O oh, impart color to various materials. Unlike natural dyes, which come from plant or animal sources, synthetic dyes are created through complex chemical reactions. The first step in the manufacturing process involves selecting suitable raw materials. These raw materials typically include aromatic hydrocarbons like benzene or toluene, which serve as the starting point for dye production. Other essential chemicals, such as sulfuric acid and nitric acid, are also necessary to facilitate the reaction. Once the raw materials have been gathered, 
the next step is to synthesize the intermediate chemicals required for dye production. This is achieved through a process known as chemical synthesis. Barrio. Us reactions are employed to transform the raw materials into diverse chemical intermediates, which then serve as building blocks for the final dyes. One common method of chemical synthesis used in dye production is diazotization. Diazotization is crucial in the creation of diazo dyes, which are an important category of synthetic dyes. This pro se. S involves converting an amine compound into a diazonium salt by reacting it with nitrous acid. These diazonium salts serve as crucial intermediates in producing a wide range of colors. After the intermediates have been synthesized, the next step is to create the final dye molecules. This is achieved through a process called coupling. Coupling reactions involve combining the diazony um salt with another compound, known as a coupler. The choice of coupler determines the final color of the dye by providing additional chemical components. There are various types of coupling reactions employed in dye manufacturing, including azocoupling, anthraquinone coupling, and phthalocyanine coupling. Each coupling reaction yields different color. S and properties, allowing for an extensive range of dyes to be created. These dyes can then be applied to different materials, such as fabrics, plastics, and paper.